We're already feeling the impacts of climate change. We're seeing that in increasing temperatures, retreating glaciers up in the mountains and changes in nature. And we know from climate science that those impacts are gonna get more severe, more extreme in the future. One of the parts of society which is most impacted by climate change are the infrastructure systems that we all depend upon. So the water, energy, transport, digital communication networks which provide us with essential services. And they're particularly important because if they're knocked out by extreme events, then the effects can cascade through society and impact thousands or even millions of people. Like we saw, for example, at the floods in Lancaster a few years back when that knocked out a electricity substation, but also then had knock-on effects for the telecommunications networks and droughts in Cape Town and also in, in Brazil led not only to water shortages but also to impacts on hydropower production. The work within my group analyzes these climate risks and looks at how they're going to change in the future. So we use big data sets, outputs from climate models which tell us about how much more extreme events are going to get we combine that with satellite imagery and computer simulation models of those infrastructure networks. And we use that to work out where are the hotspots of vulnerability, where are the impacts going to be greatest in the future. And that allows people in governments, development banks, investors to pinpoint where they should be investing to enhance resilience. And that includes things like strengthening networks, um, also nature-based solutions, which we can restore vegetation in catchments or mangroves along the coast, which can protect those infrastructures from the impacts of climate change. Also things around disaster preparedness and, dis and uh, emergency response. The UK government has launched the Race to Resilience. That is bringing together governments from all around the world to strengthen these steps to adapt to climate change. And my research group in Oxford is providing evidence for the Race to Resilience to help to prioritise those actions and motivate people to do more so that we're more prepared to cope with the impacts of climate change in the future.